Hi Reception, it's Miss Spencer again and today is Wednesday the 21st of October and it's our last mass home learning before we can go back to school tomorrow. So let's get started, we're going to learn all about the number three today. So again I will be using Anno's counting book and again I have got the number three page from that book so I want you to spot everything for the number three. So we've got three buildings now, we've got three green trees up here, three trees without leaves here, we've got three flowers all in little groups of three on the field, we've got three boats as well and even three little butterflies up at the top. So Again, I went on a little hunt around my house to find things for three. So I've got three eggs, three spoons, three pine cones, three buttons, and again, the card which shows the number three on it as well. So again, pause this video quickly, and I want you to go on a hunt around your house for things that represent three. Off you go. Well done guys, I hope you find lots of things that represent three. So again I have got my pictures and I want you to spot the ones which show and represent three. Yes we've got the three little pigs, we've got a dice with three dots on and we've got the card with the number three written on it. See if you can spot the number three this time with these pictures. Brilliant, we've got three straws in the drink, three pears in the basket, and we have got the Numicon three here as well. Well done, everybody. So let's have a go at writing the number three now. So again, we've got another little rhyme to help us remember how to do it. So what we do is start at the top again and we're going to go around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make three. So again, get your magic pens, let's do it together. So we go around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make three again. Around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make three. One more time, around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make three. Well done everybody, super super writing. Again it's over to you for one last time. So you can go on your hunt to find objects that represent three around your house. Again you can draw a picture like in Anna's counting book. Here's mine for three today. So I've got three pigs, three chickens, three bushes, three clouds in the sky and three trees. So you can create a picture like this for number three as well. Again, you can have a go at writing the number three. Remember starting at the top, around the tree, around the tree. That's how we make three. And again, I will make sure there is a link for the next episode of Number Blocks where we meet the number three as well. So for one last time you can make sure your adult sends us pictures and videos all about your learning of number three and I hope you have a fantastic last day at home and I will see you tomorrow in school. I'm so excited to see you all again. Bye reception!